Fetterman's opponents are attacking him over this issue, one calling it vigilante justice, another saying his explanation is an act. I asked Fetterman if he would do it again and what he wants voters to know. I would want voters to know that Braddock is a community that's about 75% black, and I was proud to represent Braddock for nearly 14 years. And at no point during that, that brief incident was I aware of anyone's race or that it involved any type of profiling. Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman addressing an incident from 2013 when Fetterman was mayor of Braddock and that has resurfaced in his bid for Pennsylvania's U.S. Senate seat. At a forum in Philadelphia hosted by gun safety advocacy group Giffords, Fetterman explained. I was with my four-year-old and heard a burst of gunfire. Nobody else was out. After hearing that, I got my son secured. I called 911. And I saw an individual in a ski mask, dressed completely, covered head to toe, I had no idea what, what his race was, running from where the gunshots were coming from and heading towards uh, our elementary school. And I made, as Braddock's chief law enforcement officer, after calling 911, I made a split second decision to intercept the individual to make sure that the community was safe and protected. Futterman told the audience he had a weapon with him but never pointed it at the man he stopped. We spoke one on one after the forum. Looking back at what happened, did you make a mistake that day? Uh, it's not something that I, I a, a, an incident that I would ever, you know, want to, you know, repeat because it was, it was a, it was a jarring experience. But at, at the end of the day, I'm proud of the record that I've accrued as mayor. And would the you only, do the same thing? Uh, you know, today. What, well, it's, it's, it's impossible to say, given, you know, that it was over nine years ago and certain. I mean, do you think you are, did the right thing different. that day? You know, but what I did was. As chief law enforcement officer and as mayor, I made the split second decision in an active shooter situation. Fetterman argues he was re elected as mayor after the incident and that it's being brought up now by political opponents trailing in the campaign and trying to mislead voters about his record. But given what has happened in this country in recent years, given people watching what happened in the Ahmad Arbery case, for example, can you understand that Absolutely. people have I, I, questions I, I, and maybe concerns? I about want it. to be clear. You know, there is a terrible history of profiling and over policing in black and brown communities. And anyone that hears cursory details of that, especially the way it's been mis misrepresented by my opponents, would be understandably concerned. But when you learn the facts and the details behind it, and the other, the, the true underlying circumstances and the kind of community that Braddock was, and the fact that I've been elected again and again as mayor there, I think that is the truth and people understand that. There is more to my interview with Lieutenant Governor Fetterman talking about the labels his opponents are putting on him and whether his outreach to Philadelphia voters is enough. You can hear more about that on At Issue this weekend. For now, I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.